The wheel of the year is um, the calendar of holy days, of sacred holidays. And they correspond with uh, the four solar earth days, uh, cycles, and the four um, uh, dates midway punctuating the solar earth holidays. So uh, traditionally in the Celtic, in the Wiccan tradition, the Celtic Anglo, the new year began at Samhain, which we know as Halloween, which was the day upon the, the mythos is that the goddess entered the underworld. The initiation begins, the descent begins. Uh, the harvest is over and um, a number of the animals have had to be slaughtered because there's a concern about having enough uh, to be able to get through the winter. Um, and it's, uh, it's the moment where you enter uh, the underworld, the dream time, and winter begins to come and the earth starts uh, to go to sleep and things stop growing. Uh, the, the, um, six weeks later, we have um, the winter solstice, which is the uh, shortest day and the longest night. And uh, it is um, the night of mystery, the night of the womb, the night in which the great goddess gives uh, birth to the sun, S-U-N. And um, the Christian calendar had to adapt itself and move the date of the birth of Christ um, to be proximal to the winter solstice because the old religion was hanging on and people wouldn't give it up. Um, so it is the celebration of the return of light that out of the dream comes this spark of new life. And, um, and that's hope and everyone celebrates light in the darkness and the return of life and the return of light at, at that moment. All the great religions have this in common because that's what's happening to the planet at the same time. Uh, the next holiday comes six weeks later and that's Imolk, which means in the belly. And it's the first lactation of the ewes, the female sheep. It was the first sign of the return of life. And um, it's typically celebrated, it was celebrated by the community coming together, sharing candles, food, uh, laughter, songs, um, humor, uh, because uh, stores are getting low, everybody's got cabin fever, and the community comes together to rejoice and to celebrate the fact that spring is on its way and we made it through the winter. And um, it's fabulous, it's wonderful, it's joyful. Uh, which is followed by a, another solar earth uh, holiday, which is the spring equinox, the vernal equinox, when the goddess emerges from the earth, those little green shoots that start to come up, the earth gets soft, the rains start to fall, and the goddess returns. Things start to grow again and the green appears. Followed in turn by Beltane, uh, or May Day, the first of May, which is a delicious holiday. The maypole, uh, the phallic symbol wrapped by the ribbons, by the young maidens dancing around it. Uh, wonderful folk practice is still enormously popular and practiced all over Scandinavia and still uh, somewhat in, um, in England and Ireland as well. And you get the Morris dancers waking up the earth with the bells and the hankies and sticks. Fabulous. Uh, there are lots of folk practices throughout Europe that are reminiscent of these um, of the Wheel of the Year, these holidays. Um, and I could go on with all of them. There are eight of them in all. And essentially what they're reflecting is this dance between the sun and the earth as the sun uh, as the earth grows closer to the sun and warms up and life returns and there's this erotic dance and there's a whole mytho-poetic cycle that goes with it of the dance of the god and the goddess together um, as companions and lovers. And, um, and then the sun begins to wane as the earth moves away from the sun and we move into the cycle full growth where the earth is very fertile and rich and producing all of the abundance that gets us through the winter. Uh, and then we have the harvests, Lunessa in early August, and then uh, the, the uh, autumnal equinox, September, usually September 21st, followed by Samhain. The community comes together and celebrates. There's a, a mythological motif that goes along with this, in which we see ourselves and, and our own lives reflected. Uh, and then uh, there are the mysteries of the earth that reveals itself as the sun goes into the seed and the seed goes into the earth and rests and then returns again. So it's a cycle. It's the cycle of life. And it shows you the infinite, the, the, the sacred energy, infinite, infinitely um, 
recreating itself, recreating itself. We say the sun goes into the seed, the seed goes into the earth and then returns again. Um, and by bringing our own, by celebrating and holding ritual, we bring our own lives into that harmony and work with that rhythm. Um, and it, it, it enhances your ability um, uh, to live a full life and a rich life. Thank you.